Chris Beard, Texas Tech head coach here on the Rich Eisen Show. What influence do you, does Bob Knight have in your coaching style right now? Oh, a lot. I mean, my, my years with Coach Knight and Pat, uh, you know, were special. It's like I said it earlier this week, it's just so true. It's like giving a Ph.D. every day, you know, in coaching, uh, whether it be in practice or the meetings or, you know, just watching Coach and Pat on and off the court. So, um, you know, I'm really proud of my association with Coach Knight. I think, you know, at the top of that list, all of our guys graduated. Um, you know, I thought Coach did this at the highest level about as good as you can possibly do it over many, many years and, you know, three different institutions. Uh, I think most people associated success at Indiana, which is understandable, but, you know, we had a really good run here at Texas Tech, uh, three NCAA tournaments and uh, Sweet 16. You know, Coach won a lot of games here too as well. Has he? Uh, did you hear from him over the weekend? I have not heard from him in the last couple of days, but he's been great. Um, actually, heard from uh, actually heard from Dick Vitale this morning on a um, event that he's doing in May for the Jimmy B Foundation, um, and he had mentioned that he had talked to Coach maybe even earlier today, and Coach said some great things about our team. So he's been like unbelievably supportive uh, since we came back to Lubbock, and um, it's just been a blessing, you know having him around. We got one of uh, Coach's former players, Daryl Doors, a graduate assistant on our staff, working towards his master's degree. And um, Daryl stays in touch with him often, but Coach has been nothing but supportive. And um, wh what? Uh, who have you heard from that uh, you were surprised to have heard from? Yeah, that's a cool question. Um, you know, you've got to hear from people like, um, I mean, one example of many uh, – Coach Charlie Strong, you know, I have great respect for him. Uh, really started following his teams when he was coaching football at Texas and then have kind of become just kind of text message type friends with him. And uh, he reached out. But it's really cool just to really hear from, uh, you know, the people that, that you kind of respect what they do. Um, you know, another example would be Des Bryant. He's an old Big 12 guy, hasn't played at Oklahoma State. And he said some great things about our team these last couple of days. So, uh, March is special for so many reasons, but, you know, to hear from some people that you probably wouldn't hear from on a normal Monday is pretty cool. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.